More than 110 years ago at the 1900 New York World's Fair, Rudolf Diesel displayed the first diesel engine. It was fueled by biodiesel made from peanut oil. Today, we send $1 billion a day to foreign countries to buy petroleum diesel. Isn't it time after 110 years that we increase the use of American-produced biodiesel in our diesel vehicles, allowing us to increase jobs and keep our money in America? The Alabama Clean Fuels Coalition, in cooperation with the United Soybean Board Checkoff Communications Program, is pleased to bring you three real-life experiences using biodiesel in a school bus fleet, a municipality, and a utility. First, a little Biodiesel 101. Biodiesel is a cleaner-burning, advanced biofuel made from American-grown and produced renewable resources such as soybean oil, canola oil, peanut oil, animal fats, and even used cooking oil. Biodiesel is used in diesel trucks, school buses, transit buses, military equipment, off-road and mining equipment, and of course diesel passenger vehicles, just to name a few. Biodiesel is blended with petroleum diesel in many combinations. The most commonly used is a B20 blend made up of 20% biodiesel and 80% petroleum diesel. B20 biodiesel helps cut the harmful emissions like carbon monoxide and particulate matter and lessens the dirty black smoke spewing from the exhausts of diesel vehicles. Virtually every diesel engine on the market today can use cleaner burning biodiesel without any vehicle modifications. Soy biodiesel helps extend engine life and offers diesel users better performance due to its higher cetane level. Biodiesel also has more lubricity than low sulfur diesel, and it's the safest fuel to use, handle, and store. Let's see how a school bus fleet is using this cleaner burning alternative fuel in their fleet of school buses. Bruton, Alabama offers its residents many of the conveniences of big city living. The city provides its residents with fine schools, recreational facilities, and shopping, but at a small town pace. In 2009, the Bruton City School System decided, after attending an educational Alabama Clean Fuels Coalition biodiesel workshop, sponsored by the United Soybean Board, to pursue using B20 biodiesel in its fleet of school buses. With assistance of a grant from the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs Energy Division, the existing school system diesel tank was thoroughly cleaned in preparation to fuel with B20 biodiesel. Now the school children and school bus drivers in Bruton are enjoying a cleaner, more environmentally friendly ride to and from school in their buses fueled with B20 biodiesel. Using biodiesel, greenhouse gases are reduced up to 85% and unburned hydrocarbons reduced a whopping 20%. Bruton school children can breathe easier. Our interest was really twofold at the time in biodiesel. One, the lubricity. We're, we're, small, we're small, we don't have a mechanic on site, we have to take our buses, we have to travel with them to be repaired, if it, whether it's warranty work or whether it's work uh, that's, uh, that's being done outside of warranty, we have to travel, travel with them. So we were very much interested in being able to have the, the diesel engines lubricated as they ran, so the lubricity was, was very important. And then, to, just to be able to be a, a good steward of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the resources and, and, and the environment to not have, to, running as clean as they do, not having the uh, diesel exhaust and running clean around the students was, was uh, a major factor. We were very pleased to be able to receive the ADECA grant to do the tank cleaning. The company that came in and did that for us did an, an exceptional job uh, cleaning tanks. We started running buses the summer of 2009 with, uh, as we started with just some of the, the summer programs that we have, running the biodiesel in those, uh, in those buses during the summertime, didn't have any problems, began running the biodiesel in all of our buses in the, when school started of that, uh, of that year, of uh, the school year of 2009-2010, so we run all of 
our buses, whether they're extracurricular activity buses or route buses, they've been all running on the biodiesel B20 for uh, this is the, the third school year that that's been going on. For schools, municipalities, and utilities, biodiesel usage provides a cleaner burning, American produced alternative fuel that can be used in virtually all diesel engines. Biodiesel is simple to use, is biodegradable, non-toxic, and essentially free of sulfur and aromatics. It's produced in America and creates jobs for our citizens. Biodiesel is one of the best carbon reducing fuels available in the transportation market. A Department of Energy and Department of Agriculture life cycle analysis shows biodiesel reduces life cycle carbon dioxide by 78% compared to diesel. In addition, the Environmental Protection Agency found greenhouse gas emissions could be cut by as much as 85% by using biodiesel. It's been 110 years since Rudolph Diesel introduced biodiesel at the New York World's Fair. Isn't it about time we took the simple step of using biodiesel to lessen our dependence on foreign oil, improve our economy, and create jobs for our farmers and citizens by using biodiesel. For more information about biodiesel or other alternative fuels and advanced technology vehicles, contact the Alabama Clean Fuels Coalition, a U.S. Department of Energy Clean Cities Coalition. This presentation is sponsored by the United Soybean Board's Communications Reimbursement Checkoff Program and the Alabama Clean Fuels Coalition.